This week's Pets of the Week are big ones. They are Great Pyrenees, brought to us by the Great Pyrenees Club of Western PA Rescue. The breed is quite majestic looking, yet also appears so lovable. As you can see of these six shaggy friends looking out over Pittsburgh from Mount Washington. Club members Allison Corman, Sandra Johnson, and Paula Rulo brought a recent rescue with them this morning to try and find these two a home. Good morning to all of you Good and morning. to Good morning. Zara and Cage, right? Yes. Correct. Good morning, guys. Good morning. So tell us more about your rescue and who you brought with you today. Um, oh. Go ahead. No, no, you go. Eat another dog. Okay. Um, we're Great Pyrenees Club of Western Pennsylvania. We've been around since 1966. This is Zara. She is about two years old. Um, and this is Cage. He's 10 months old. And both Aww. are in foster homes right now, but are looking for their permanent homes. And so what can you tell us about this breed and what kind of home they need to be in? This is a, a working dog. They're classified as livestock guard dogs, um, and they like to roam. You would typically, if you were going to have it as a working dog, you would put them out with your sheep or your goats or whatever, and they would protect them from predators. But as a pet, they will be very good protectors of your family, but they need a fenced-in area because otherwise they will... Roam. They will roam, yes. Um, but they're very loyal, very sweet dogs. Um, big couch potatoes. Are they? <laughs> um, and so why do, why do they need a rescue? Are they often given up for adoption or is it just, is it just the fact that they um, need to find the right home? The breed. Right home is very key. Um, people get them when they're little. They look like little baby polar bears and people think, oh my gosh, so cute. And they might not have done the proper amount of homework on knowing exactly what the breed needs. Um, they are very independent because they're, they're bred to be out alone so often. Mm -hmm. They're very smart. They need to learn to think for themselves. So they need an owner who is going to be firm and, and teach them good manners. Wow, it looks um, like they're easily <laughs> And yeah. they can be slightly nocturnal. So if you live uh, maybe in close proximity of a lot of neighbors, you need to make sure that they aren't going to be out barking all night. So, but having a yard... And, and really understanding the breed helps them stay put, but because they roam, if they get loose, they can go very far. Well, that was the story that made the news. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And tell, I, I, run me by that story again, that, that story. The dog was found wandering for, was it months? He was gone for four months. Four months, right. He was in, I believe, five different counties. He started in um, Cranberry and ended up in Cabot. Unbelievable. Um, and he was rescued uh, November 1st. So microchips are probably a good idea if you have Absolutely. them. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. I mean, for all, all animals, but specifically maybe for this breed. You guys have some upcoming events too? Yes, we mission? do. Let me get out our, my paper here. <laughs> <laughs> we all have them. I have them too. <laughs> so on July 21st and August 4th, we have Trolls and Pup Patrol down by the Gateway Clipper. Great. Um, Saturday, August 4th is Pittsburgh Veggie Fest at Allegheny Commons Park, and then September 15th, we'll be at Ladyburg Garden Center in Ohio. Okay, a lot of great work going on. Thank you guys so much for bringing us these adorable pups today. And to find out more about today's pets and the outings with the Great Pyrenees Club of Western Pennsylvania Rescue, visit the club's website. We'll have that link posted for you at kdka.com slash PTL. And keep watching for more stories on fostering or adopting pets every Monday here on PTL as part of our featured Pet of the Week segments.